G'day cocktail lovers, how are you? Hope you're keeping well. I uh, hope you're enjoying the occasional drink. It's important to remember, as we're in these strange times, to drink responsibly, but still enjoy a drink. And I hope you're going to enjoy what I share with you today. Uh, this is actually an original creation of mine. First time on the channel, I'm sharing a completely original cocktail. I often improvise with some standard recipes, do some substitutions. But this one I came up with from scratch, and it came from an infusion. That's a uh, thing I like to do to make things a bit more interesting, infuse spirits with various things, uh, with fruit peel, with tea, with uh, lollies, candy, rock candy's great. And uh, you can do it with uh, herbs and spices as well. And what I did was infused some vodka with a spice called sumac, actually comes from a flower. It's bright red, it's very red as you can see from this. And uh, it's fairly easy to get sumac and it tastes good. It's kind of salty, kind of sour. It's not too intense, but is a very interesting flavor and uh, is a great color, as I said. So I decided I needed to come up with a specialty drink for the sumac infused vodka. And what I came up with, it has lime juice, it has Velvet Falernum, which is basically a rum liqueur if you're not familiar with it. And it has grenadine, in my case some of my homemade grenadine. Now when I first made it, I was being very lazy and I was just referring to it as a sumac martini. Which is ridiculous, because a martini is vodka and vermouth. And not vodka and some other spirits and juices. So it was most definitely not a martini. It's following the fairly classic configuration of spirit, liqueur, and citrus. Uh, like my favorite, the sidecar, uh, the margarita. There are a lot of cocktails that follow that pattern of citrus, liqueur, and the spirit. So I thought it needs its own original name. I just don't want to call it like a version of something else. And I was trying to think of a thing to call it. And it was actually Mrs. Angry who came up with it. He said, well, okay, the sumac's kind of salty. So maybe salty, maybe something that brings the sea to mind and it's red like ruby you should call it the ruby princess now if you're not in australia you might not get where that comes from ruby princess was a cruise ship that was full of people who had uh, coronavirus and they were allowed off and they spread uh, more coronavirus in australia than anyone else did yeah, thankfully we have it pretty much under control at the moment and hope it stays that way. But yeah, most of the cases that occurred in New South Wales came from the Ruby Princess. And ooh, there's a whole bunch of controversy about why these people were allowed off the boat. So it's, a, it's very topical for Australia, the Ruby Princess. Uh, that's what I'm going to make for you tonight. Uh, it's a fairly simple recipe. I'm going to start off with two ounces of the sumac infused vodka. Like most cocktails that have citrus in them, this is going to be shaken. So these ingredients are all going into a shaker. Next up is uh, one and a half ounces or 45 mils of Velvet Falernum. And that's just about the end of that bottle. Looks like it's time for me to go shopping. For the non-alcoholic contents, doing one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice and one ounce of my homemade grenadine. It's really simple to make, tastes way better than store-bought. Half uh, pomegranate juice, unsweetened, and half sugar. Put it on low heat on a stove, stir it so the sugar dissolves, or you don't even have to heat it up if you're really patient and they're just gonna keep stirring. But basically 50% pomegranate, 50% sugar, and you get a really nice grenadine. So one ounce of that is going in. Now we give these ingredients a shake for about five or 10 seconds. It may not be a martini, but it looks good in a martini glass. So I'm going to strain that into a martini glass. And there we have a ruby princess. Mmm. It's a really nice balance. I mean, this would be good without the sumac, but that uh, the flavors of the sumac along with the Velvet Falernum is quite sweet, the grenadine sweet. You've got the tartness from the lime juice and uh, those sumac flavors in amongst that. It's a really nicely balanced drink and just a little bit different. And it's really easy to do your own infusions. Like I just put 
a, a spoon or two of sumac in 300 mils of vodka, left it for a couple of days, and you get that fantastic red color, picks up the flavors as well, and so you can add your own little twist to your drinks with a little surprise in sumac. Cheers. If you're interested in infusions and what you can do with them, let me know because I've experimented with quite a different range of infusions, different methods to get different results. Uh, be happy to share them in another video. Uh, so please come back and see what I do next. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ding the little bell so you get the notifications of when I've uploaded. And yeah, let me know if you want to know more about infusions and what you can do on that front. Until next time, I'll say bye for now.